Alley Cats and new viewers. So today I'm bringing you my top 25, yes 25 films of 2016. Now you may be thinking, Alyssa that's a lot of films, but guess what? I've watched over 150 this year, so I got a lot to cover. And I really couldn't narrow this list down any further because I just saw so many amazing films. And while you're watching this, you'll probably be thinking, why is Arrival not on here? Why is La La Land not on here? Why is so-and-so not on here? Well, because one, my small town did not get those films. Two, I can't watch every movie ever made in a specific time frame. And three, I might not have enjoyed it. So this is my list. It will differ from yours, but... I hope you enjoy and let's just get started. These are in no particular order because literally I have three films that tied for my favorite film of the year. The first film up I want to mention is Love and Friendship. Love and Friendship is based off of a Jane Austen novella and it stars Kate Beckinsale, Chloe Sevigny, Tom Bennett, and Xavier Samuel and it's about Lady Susan Vernon who goes to her in-law's estate to try to find suitable husbands for herself and her daughter. It's humorous, it's beautiful, it's gorgeously shot, and it's a fantastic return to form by Whit Stillman. The next film up is Cafe Society. Now this has garnered a lot of controversy due to the fact that this is a Woody Allen film, but I love this film. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it has amazing performances by Jesse Eisenberg, probably Kristen Stewart's best performance to date, Blake Lively and Steve Carell. It's gorgeous, the cinematography is fantastic, and it's a beautiful beautiful film. Next up is a very strange film that not everyone will love but that is High Rise. High Rise stars Tom Hiddleston and it's about this 40 story tall building and this building has like a zoo in it and gardens and stores and people are slowly devolving into an animalistic state and it's just a very fascinating watch. One that you want to rewatch as soon as it's over and it was very compelling to me. Next up is 10 Cloverfield Lane. This was actually a very, very delicious treat for me because I was not the biggest fan of the original Cloverfield, but I love 10 Cloverfield Lane. This is directed by Dan Trachtenberg and stars Mary Elizabeth Winstead, John Goodman, and John Gallagher Jr. I won't say what the plot's about because that would spoil it, but it's fantastic. It's science fiction, it's a thriller, it's wonderful, and John Goodman is so freaking good in this film. You should watch it just for him alone, but this film is fantastic. Next up is Deepwater Horizon. This is another film that took me by surprise with how much I loved it. Deepwater Horizon is based on the true story of the oil rig named Deepwater Horizon that exploded in 2010 and dumped oil all into the ocean. It stars Mark Wahlberg, Gina Rodriguez, Kurt Russell, and Kate Hudson, and it's a very well done disaster movie. It pulls on your heartstrings. Gina Rodriguez gives such a powerful performance as does Mark Wahlberg, and I absolutely loved it and was surprised by how much I love this film. Next up is Finding Dory. This is the sequel to Finding Nemo, and Finding Dory is just the story of Dory the Blue Tang, who remembers that she's lost her family and she tries to find them. It's a beautiful film. So cute, so well done, and perfect for families. The next film I want to mention is a little scene indie film by the Duplass brothers called Blue Jay. It stars Mark Duplass and Sarah Paulson as two high school sweethearts who meet again 24 years later in their small hometown and they spend a day and a night together. It's shot in black and white. It's a very beautifully done film. Everything was improvised and it just hits you right in all the feels. Next up is Midnight Special. I adored this film. This stars Michael Shannon, Joel Edgerton, Kirsten Dunst, and Jane Lieberher. And it's the story of a father who has his son Alton Myers who has these special abilities. His eyes glow, he can pick up radio signals and frequencies, and he is trying to save his son from this group of fundamentalist Christians who are on the hunt for his son. Is so beautiful and so powerful. It's a wholly original film and I loved it. Next up is Green Room. This was a brutal but amazingly well done film by Jeremy Saulnier that stars Anton Yelchin, Imogen Poots, Alia Shawkat, and a magnificent turn by Patrick Stewart. This is a tough watch but it's so well done, so tense, so thrilling, so dark, and that's why I think I loved it so much. Next up is a film that not a lot of people gave a shot, and it bombed at the box office, but that is The Nice Guys. This is one of the best films of the year. 
phenomenal directing by Shane Black, who also wrote the film, incredible performances by Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling. They have amazing chemistry as two detectives who are investigating the case of a dead porn star. It's such a fantastic detective noir story and more people need to watch this. It's so good. Next on my list is Deadpool. Again, I hate comedies for the most part, but throw in superheroes, a raunchy sense of humor, and the dark origins of Deadpool and you get an amazing mix. Ryan Reynolds is fantastic as Deadpool, Tim Miller did a great job directing, and I loved everything about this film. The comedy, the editing, the acting, everything was so good about Deadpool. Yes, it's not one to show your children or your grandparents, but it's one of the best R-rated superhero comedy films of all time. Next up is The Jungle Book. This was directed by Jon Favreau and stars Neil Sethi, also stars the voices of Scarlett Johansson, Bill Murray, Idris Elba, Lupita Nyong'o, and Christopher Walken. This is a very beautifully done film. It is seriously like these animals are lifelike. You forget that they're CG. And Neil Sethi being so young and being the only human actor in this film is phenomenal. It's such a faithful retelling of the classic Disney animation and it's just so well done. And the two musical numbers are just really warm fuzzy treats that bring that nostalgic feeling to your heart. The next film is Don't Breathe. I thought this was a very well done, very well paced, very suspenseful thriller by Fede Alvarez. It stars Jane Levy, Dylan Minnette, and Stephen Lang. And it was so claustrophobic and it had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. It's very intense and just so incredibly well done. The next film I want to mention is The Shallows. The Shallows is directed by Jaume Calé Sera. I think that's how you say his name. I probably butchered it. Sorry. And it stars Blake Lively and it's just the best shark movie since Jaws in my opinion. Just watch it. It's, it's fun. It's so much fun. Next up is a hidden gem film because not a lot of people have seemed to have seen this film but that is Sing Street. This is the third film by John Carney. It's about this young teenage boy who wants to impress this older girl so he forms a band to impress her. It's so charming. It's got John Carney's usual flair and it feels like a John Carney film. John Carney is known for making films based around how music impacts our lives and it was so wonderful and just such a treat. Next up is Hunt for the Wilder People. This was directed by Taika Waititi and stars Sam Neill. It's about a young boy named Ricky Baker who has been in foster care for a while, but then they discover he has an aunt and uncle in the Australian bush, so he goes to live with them. And it's just chronicling the story of how he adjusts to his new life. And it's just such a warm, uplifting, funny film. The next film I want to give kudos to is The Lobster. This is a very weird film and it's not going to be for everyone. It's directed by Yorgos Lanthimos and stars Colin Farrell, Rachel Weisz, John C. Riley, and Ben Whishaw. And it's about a society where everyone must have a soulmate. And if you don't have a soulmate, you have 45 days to find one. If you don't find a soulmate within that time period, you're turned into the animal of your choice. I loved how this film portrayed love and how society has certain expectations for love and I thought it was just an incredible thought-provoking film. The next film I really loved was Zootopia. This was a phenomenal film by Disney. I was surprised by the messages it conveyed but also really glad that they went that direction. It's perfect for kids but also for adults. And it's just so beautiful and well done and I can't sing its praises enough. Watch Zootopia. It doesn't matter if you're an adult or a kid. Watch it. The next film up is another divisive film that not everyone will like, but that is The Neon Demon. I loved it. If you like films like Black Swan or Suspiria, then The Neon Demon is going to be a film that will intrigue you. It is directed by Nicholas Winding Refn. It stars Elle Fanning, Jenna Malone, Bella Heathcote, Abby Lee, Keanu Reeves, and Christina Hendricks. Next up is The Conjuring 2. I know some people had issues with this film, but I was genuinely terrified by this film. It could be because I was all alone in a dark theater by myself and there was no one else around me and everything scared me and I came out of the theater crying and my hair was all messed up and I made a video and then James Wan, the director, found it and liked it. True story! But it was a fantastic horror film. James Wan knows what he's doing and Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga were fantastic 
as the Warren family. Next up is another horror film, but this is a Korean horror film called The Wailing. This is very well done. It's about a small village in South Korea that has a rash of murders occur, but also people are getting this weird sickness and this kind of inept police officer. He's really daffy. He's trying to figure out why are these murders occurring? Why is everyone getting sick? Does it have anything to do with this Japanese man who has come to town for some unknown reason? It's very suspenseful. It's genuinely disturbing. It actually scared me and I highly recommend you seek it out because it's so chilling. The next film I really loved was Captain America Civil War. This is one of the most epic superhero movies ever made. Both Team Cap and Team Iron Man had solid arguments to their side of the story and it was just really awesome to see everyone in a smackdown. It was an epic story, it was beautifully directed, and it was really awesome to see Black Panther and Spider-Man introduced into the MCU. Now leading into my top three movies of the year which are all kind of tied into one because they're all my favorites for the year. First up is Doctor Strange. I thought this was the best Marvel film to date in my opinion. I love Doctor Strange. Benedict Cumberbatch is fantastic as Stephen Strange and all the other actors in the film, Tilda Swinton, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Benedict Wong, Rachel McCams, and Mads Mikkelsen were phenomenal and I loved the visuals. Scott Derrickson really has an eye for visual design and it's such an eye-catching film and it was a very smart, well-done origin story. Next up is Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I know a lot of fans are divided over this film. I personally enjoyed it because I loved that it was a standalone film and that it wasn't your traditional Star Wars film. This is very much a war film or even a heist film. It's got a darker tone. This is not for families. Kids probably should not see this film. But I loved that darker tone and I loved the characters. No one in particular stood out. They were all equals. And I just loved everything that happened. I loved all the cameos. I loved the direction. I loved how dark the story was. And I just adored Rogue One. And the last film I really super duper loved this year was Kubo and the Two Strings. Again, this movie bombed at the box office and it should not have. This is a beautiful stop motion film from Leica Entertainment. And it's a beautiful tale about a boy who is trying to find his way and he is trying to save his village and it's just gorgeous you just watch it just watch it so those are my top 25 films of 2016 what films made your list whether that's top 5 top 10 top 15 whatever let me know down below i know i missed a lot of fantastic movies this year i'll try to fix that in 2017. if you like the video please leave me a like if you like the video also make sure to share the video because that helps my channel grow spreads the word about me yada 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 if you liked what you've seen and heard and you want to subscribe to my channel you'll see my face floating over here you can click my face and you'll be subscribed to my channel and make sure that bell down there is clicked because that'll notify you every time a video of mine is uploaded if you'd like to follow me on social media sites or check out the written reviews for the films i mentioned They'll be listed in the description box down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and kisses. Bye.